Alrighty, so here's the motherboard. Okay, and here's the screen. Now, when you assemble this, you're going to have to keep in mind that this cable is actually going to wrap up and then get placed in like this. Okay, so for now, what we're going to do is we're going to test out this cable. Okay, so when you insert this, make sure that these two tabs here okay, are pulled back. Let me um, focus really quickly. Okay, so pull them back and then just take your cable and insert. Okay. Okay, give it a good push. Once you feel that it's in flush, nice and tight, okay, on both sides, then simultaneously press these two tabs and close them off. Okay. So same time. There we go. So they should be closed off. Okay. And it's okay that some of this is exposed here. That's that's how it's supposed to be. The point of these tabs is when you push this in, uh, basically it causes this connector here to there's a mechanism ne mechanism inside that basically it kind of bites down onto the onto the metal there so that it forms a proper connection. Now let's move this up. What I want to uh, address at this point is where we're going to solder this wire. Now what I generally like to do is I generally like to have my screen on the brightest level. Okay? Keep in mind that this thing has to wrap around when we finally install it, it's going to have to wrap around kind of like this somehow. We'll have to address how to fold this cable. But there won't be any room here, so you're going to want to have your cable come off to the side like this. Okay? And we're going to solder it to this point here. So let me zoom in really quickly and focus and get my pin out. We're going to solder on this point right here okay so if you imagine this as a Y this is a Y here we're going to solder onto the left prong of that Y the other place you can solder onto is the the top of this capacitor unfortunately I had to do the soldering off camera because it's a pretty tough process especially with uh, electronics this this small but uh, here you can see the solder joint Okay, I put the play a screen back in. If you look at this, this adapter, there are two little notches here, and they're basically just going to slide right into there. Okay, so that's where that goes. Now what we got to do is figure out what to do with this cable. And one suggestion is to basically just fold it like so, bend it like this and then kind of flatten it out and then we'll tape it down. My piece of tape. Okay, tapping it down. It's pretty flat. Okay, make sure that that's in place. Flip this piece over like so. Alright, now, when you install this, make sure that the speakers Go back into the proper position. Well, you know what we're forgetting? We're forgetting all our buttons. Well, here they are. Remember that the A button is on the far left and the B button is on the far right. And you'll know that you've got it wrong when you, uh, when you look at it from the other side. But just remember the B button is on the 
the innermost side closest to the screen. All right. Okay, now let's try it again. Okay. So how do we put this in? Just make sure to carefully nudge the speaker into place. There's a little notch there, if you can see it, right in here. And that needs to go into the little hole uh, specifically for it. Okay, so. We're not done yet because I still have to remove that, this, you know, this little plastic piece, or that, that cover. Um, but take a look at where that wi red wire is. You can see it here. And what you want is you want it to clear all of those posts in, sorry, that red wire that runs around here like this, you want it to clear all of those posts. Okay? So right now it's, it's right there and that's not what we want it. The other issue is when we close it, we don't want the red wire sticking out here as, as well. So, we take this off. We're going to remove this, or just adjust this red wire so it's over here. Okay, and again, let's take a look at our dry fit real quick. All right, uh, the other issue is this little post there. Can you see it? That post there, we got to clear that post now. And at the same time, that big post there, we have to clear as well. Okay? And this is where uh, tape is going to help us. So we need this wire to come down here. Move that inside here, come down here, and clear that big post there. So a small piece of tape and what I like to do is I like to actually fold this so that I have a, a tab that I can pull up on in case I need to readjust my tape. And eventually it will work out. Okay, uh, looks like it would clear just fine. So everything looks like it's going to work and now we actually completely remove everything again and you're wondering now why we would really want to do that and the reason for that is because we need to test the potentiometer so the potentiometer is right there what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark it mark its original setting right now so, actually, I can kind of tell already. If, I, if you look very closely, okay, I'm going to use I'm going to use that corner over here as a reference point, and let's go ahead and mark it. It's a little hard to do. Or if you just look really carefully, you can actually see. There we go. See that red piece of, uh, or that red mark? So that's pointing to that corner there, and that just basically tells me this is the default setting prior to uh, installing my new screen. We're going to test with Metroid. And we just want to make sure that the colors look okay. Looks like everything is okay. I don't actually have to adjust anything. Except maybe the focus of my iPhone. So I think we're ready to go ahead and put everything together, removing our old uh, screen protector and putting in a new lens as well.
Right, so what I did was I, uh, I installed a new lens and I went ahead and removed the protective cover on the actual screen and I've reassembled everything. Now again, make sure that you've got the buttons with the black showing and not reversed. And then, of course, uh, putting everything on their proper pegs and whatnot. It's a pretty straightforward process. Okay, looks like everything is going to clear just fine. Just going to pull this as much as I can over here before I put everything back together.